My name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was to combine one stick of softened butter with some brown sugar. I mixed it together with my hand mixer until it was smooth for about a minute. Then I added a cup of pumpkin puree and I mixed that until it was smooth. Once that happened, I added two eggs, and I beat those with my electric mixer as well. Once that was well combined, I added some spices, including ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground cloves, and ground ginger. If you have some pumpkin pie spice on hand, that will work very well. Then I added some baking soda and baking powder, and I mixed that together thoroughly. I added some all-purpose flour, and I mixed it together on low speed until it was just barely combined. You definitely don't want to overmix once the flour is added because it can make your bread very tough. Next I stirred it a bit with my spatula to ensure there were no clumps of flour in the bottom of the bowl. Then I transferred the mixture to a well-greased loaf pan and I spread it into an even layer. Then I set it aside. Next I made the streusel topping. In another mixing bowl I combined melted butter, brown sugar, all-purpose flour, and cinnamon. I stirred that together until it became crumbly like wet sand. Then I sprinkled the streusel all over the top of the unbaked bread. I cut off some of the excess parchment paper. I placed it on a tray and into a 350 degree oven for about 55 minutes. That gave me plenty of time to get my dishes cleaned up. I knew it was ready when I inserted a toothpick near the center and it came out clean. Finally, I prepared the glaze. I combined powdered sugar, vanilla extract, maple syrup, and heavy cream. I added more heavy cream than the recipe called for and perhaps I should have used milk because it was too thick and it was difficult to drizzle over the top of the bread, but I got there eventually. Once I had drizzled it, I allowed it to set and then I cut the bread into slices. This was very delicious. It had a lovely pumpkin spice flavor. It was very moist and the crumbly streusel topping and glaze added a lot of sweet maple flavor that really enhanced the overall experience. I highly recommend it. I hope you'll give this recipe a try, and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. I'm always cooking up something over here. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.